expect everything to go on smoothly. And also remind the sports ministry that we have the Commonwealth Games coming up in April. And Show of course, that's in Australia. Also, you can extend that to the National Show Assembly also love. because you have that coming up before <laughs> the, the World Cup. Cup. I know that is the biggest one, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's quickly do this now. Let's um, allow uh, coach of Aimba talk about uh, Paul Aigbogo. Uh, join in as we just take a look at the preparation of some of our teams for uh, calf club competitions. And um, we'll be trying to extray what the clubs are doing. Some have been quite silent. Some have been in the news talking about recruitment of players and a whole lot. But this morning, we're talking to uh, Paul Aigbogo, coach of Aimba. Hello, coach. Uh, good morning. Nice to have you join us. Um, on the show. Uh, good morning. Hi, how are you? All right, uh, th let's just dive uh, straight uh, into it. Not much has been heard um, ab about your team, and um, I know you're preparing uh, for, uh, for uh, I think, I know our three competitions. You are in a precision tournament uh, as we speak, but three major uh, competitions, and most times, uh, you know, teams in that kind of situation want to expand, want to make their squad. Uh, big. So talk about recruitment of players. Um, what are you doing now uh, with your team to ensure that you're able to participate on all fronts and have a team ready to compete? Um, no, I think as you, as you mentioned, we're in the phase of pre-season training. Um, so we're, we're looking at, I mean, thankfully the bulk of the team from last year, which ended the season very, very well, has been retained. Um, so the, the, so the issue is just to, to look at one or two areas that we can actually add to the team and strengthen the team a little bit. So that is what we're looking at in pre-season at the moment. Because as, as you said, pre-season is to, is to kind of evaluate the players you have and, and see what CCM the team can be put into actually for the upcoming season. So that, that's the phase that we're in at the moment. Uh, all right, Coach, um, I'm also with my colleague Cecilia Morigui. We'll be throwing in one or two questions later on. But let, but let me quickly ask you this. Um, when we talk about Aimba, most people are not afraid of the domestic scene. I mean, some will say they, they, they have it, their fingers wrapped around it. But the continent, um, last time out uh, you were there, it wasn't really, um, it didn't go the way a lot of fans um, expected. Do, do you think um, this time out uh, it, might, it might just be uh, different uh, in the Confederations Cup? Um, I think I would, I would differ to agree with you, I think you agree with you because I think last time out, I think it's a misconception, last time out we were the only team that got through to the group stage in the last eight years in Nigeria. Um, you know, so I, I don't think it was that, that, that obviously we didn't meet our target, which is any competition you go into, you want to win, win the competition, but I think we didn't do too badly um, at, at the time. I mean, obviously, we, as I said, wanted to go the whole way, and unfortunately uh, we didn't, but I think it's improving over the recently that we found out that we didn't do too badly. But obviously, when you're going to play in the continent in Africa, a lot of things come into play. Um, it's not easy. Teams all over the continent are getting stronger and stronger. Um, so we have to make sure that we also do that so adequately. Yeah, you, you talked about the fact that you want to show up some department. You know, what what are you looking at from your tag, the defense, and of course, what are, how many players is they going to bring in, you know, to join the ones you already have? No, I, I, I think I, I mentioned earlier, the team ended the season very well last year, and so I gave um, a lot of kudos to the, the management team and the coaching crew that, that were here last year, um, from, from the way the team ended, and I think it's just a matter of of looking at one or two areas that the team can be strengthened. It's not a matter of trying to re rebuild the team again. We should carry on from where we stopped and just look at what one or two areas that you can improve on. That's, that's the, the philosophy that I have coming into the season. Yeah, is those areas we actually want to understand? Which areas are you talking about and how many players do you intend to bring into the squad? Well, I think I mean, about, about goal areas, I mean, every, everybody would, would obviously always look at the goal scoring areas because you can score enough goals. And then you look at the, um, the defensively, we need to, to strengthen one or two players. And I mean, if it's about just one or two players. But that, that doesn't, you know, it's not more sales techniques. You can never be totally satisfied with the team you have because, as you mentioned, when you're playing in enough to, enough to three or four tournaments, then it takes its toll. And I know from being here last, last year, at times, you, at times you, you can end up with a backlog of eight to nine games. So you need you need a, a big squad, and, and you don't want to dip in, in the squad. So, for example, if Mr. if one of the players is not out playing, then you want to be able to replace him with someone who is equally fit and, and adequate to play in that position. 
All right, Coach, uh, before we let you go, um, uh, a lot of people, myself included, when teams go on the continent and they start recruiting players, you, you get scared. You hear 50, 60, a large number. And at the end of the day, I mean, they have the best players, uh, a collection of the best players, so to speak. And they don't, you know, they don't really go far. Some of those players don't get used. The, the coach has a dilemma who to use. You have a lot of good players a squad uh, that is too large. I hope that probably would be a problem for, for you uh, this time out uh, in the quest to, you know, uh, aspire to do the things you want to do. Um, no, I mean, I, 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 mean, I, I agree with you. Um, but I think there's a fine line between, between recruiting, I mean, enough players to, to actually execute the, I mean, I mean, all the tournaments and over recruiting. And I think this season, um, with the kind of recruitment, there hasn't, as I said, there hasn't been wholesale changes, and the base of the team is there, the foundation is there. So I think this year we're looking at players who, because when when you play, believe me, when when you play, on the, for example, if you play a game in Tunisia on a, on a, on a Saturday and you come back and you have to play a game on Wednesday with the travel involved, then it's very difficult the same player to play. So you have to really look at that. But as I mentioned, it's just trying to find that fine line that you don't over-recruit and you don't under-recruit also at the same time. So. Okay. All right, Coach, I want to thank you for your time um, today. Thanks for allowing us, um, uh, you know, give us some, some insights into the plans of AIMBA. We wish you the best uh, in all uh, that you do. All right, so we've been speaking to uh, Coach of AIMBA, the Abai Elephants, Paul Aigbogo, speaking on uh, their plans for the league and uh, the CAF Competitions Cup. All right, we'll pause a little here and go on a break. When we return, Chidebere um, Ezeani will join us. And, of course, we'll take a look at the UEFA Champions League and a whole lot of other uh, sporting uh, issues on Sports This Morning.